This short video is all about helping you understand how heat pumps work and what different types there are so that you can make an informed decision about what could be right for you. A common misconception is that heat pumps use geothermal energy, hot springs or hot rocks in the earth. They don't. What heat pumps actually do is capture solar energy, energy from the sun, that has slightly warmed either the earth, a body of water or the air. As such, you'll hear people mention ground source heat pumps, water source heat pumps and air source heat pumps. Though it might seem hard to believe, even on a cold winter's day, the temperature a metre underground or at the bottom of a river remains surprisingly constant at about 10 degrees centigrade. Heat pumps are able to extract this heat for you to make use of. Ground source and water source heat pumps do this through a series of coils like a slinky. A liquid which is slightly below 10 degrees centigrade is pumped through the coils and picks up heat from the surrounding earth or water. This heat is then transferred to a liquid refrigerant which is passed through a device called a compressor which pressurizes the liquid and by doing so raises its temperature to about 40 degrees centigrade or a little higher, a little warmer than a baby's bath. This heat is transferred to the water in your heating system via a heat exchanger. The cycle then begins again. The compressor and heat exchanger are housed in a unit about the size of a large fridge. Electricity is needed to power the compressor, so heat pumps, which are powered from mains electricity, are not completely carbon neutral. But in the right place, ground and water source heat pumps can turn every kilowatt hour of electricity into three or four kilowatt hours of heat energy. So they can be a good way to reduce carbon emissions from heating, especially if you source the electricity needed from a renewable source, such as a wind turbine or a solar panel. For ground source heat pumps, the main constraint is space. Do you have room to dig trenches for the coils? If not, the coils can be installed vertically, but this is considerably more expensive as it requires drilling deep boreholes. A rocky site obviously brings its own problems. Water source heat pumps work where there is a reasonably high flow of water. This keeps the temperature more even. Some larger systems need a license from the Environment Agency because they extract water from the river or canal. Air source heat pumps work rather differently. Mounted directly on an external wall of a house, they work and look rather like air conditioning units, only that they run in reverse. They don't use coils, which makes them easier and cheaper to install, but they're usually less efficient, producing perhaps only 2.5 kilowatt hours of heat for every kilowatt hour of electricity. Because they rely on the outdoor air temperature, air source heat pumps have to work harder when it's cold, so use more electricity during the winter months. For this reason, although you'll find them in buildings throughout the UK, the best efficiencies are achieved in areas with milder winters. If heat pumps are so efficient, why don't we all have one? Well, firstly, the heat they deliver is at a relatively low temperature, little more than 40 degrees centigrade. This is perfect for, say, underfloor heating, but would feel distinctly lukewarm in most radiators. And low temperature heating systems aren't very responsive. They take time to bring a room up to the required temperature, so only perform properly in a well-insulated building. In buildings where the heat escapes easily to the walls, floors and windows, the heat pump would have to work very hard to maintain the temperature. This would use much more electricity. It would be a bit like running a fridge with the door slightly open all the time. Secondly, if your building is connected to mains gas, the economics don't really stack up. This is because mains gas is about one third of the price of electricity. So, there's no point substituting a gas central heating system with a heat pump unless your aim is to save carbon at all costs. Sure, you'd be using one unit of electricity where you previously might have used three units of gas, but it would cost you the same. For this reason, heat pumps tend to be used in buildings that are off the gas network and where the building would otherwise use more expensive heating fuels, such as oil or electricity. As you can see, the successful use of a heat pump system depends on a variety of factors, not least the efficiency of the building itself and what other source of fuel you have available. 
If you think that a heat pumps project might be feasible for you, other sections of this resource will give you more information on the steps you will need to take. Thank you for watching.